Okay, it's but all I, I know it's your show, though. Like, no, 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 it's not my uh, show. It is. I'm just saying, like, it belongs to the guests. I don't want to be all positive. No, whatever happens. No. Yeah, I was like, in there. All right. Jay McCullough reporting live. I'm here with Anaya. And we decided last time we didn't record our faces. I don't know why. And I'll try not to knock over this coffee. This I didn't time. get a haircut. But I also didn't prepare for this. I should have shaved. Oh, I could have. I could have done something here. Uh, so we're here at Dolce and Salado. What is this? Eleventh and Grand, uh, right on the corner here. And uh, I've heard good things about the breakfast sandwiches. Is this your first time eating here for breakfast, at least? I think I've gotten tasty pastries. Tasty pastries. That's it, though. That's first it. time for term breakfast. Yeah. Um, so you're doing the egg and cheese today. I uh, I was recommended the Taylor ham egg and cheese. Uh, Got to live up to my Jersey credentials. Um, it looks pretty good. It's, I didn't specify how I wanted the eggs, and I just want to see what they would do with them. So it's a, it's a good scrambled yolk, no runny yolks here. Uh, and we also got a chpoitel to have after. Um, you haven't had chpoitel before? Nope. Also known as a lobster roll. Uh, we'll, we'll cut into that a little bit later, but I want to get this. Uh, oh, so tasting impressions. I got here a little bit late. I uh, come over from book club, and uh, a night had already had the... Uh, yeah. Very busy here. It's always popping at Dolce and Salado. Uh, what did you get here? I got a peach lemonade, oh. but I would like to say it's just lemonade with a peach syrup. No, it's no actual peach no juice or nectar. Peach juice nectar. You think there's actual lemon juice in there? Definitely lemon juice. Definitely lemon juice. Yes. Okay. So a uh, flavor. Now, if you were doing a mint lemonade, would you, would you expect some mint leaves? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Mint and ginger right. or whatever. Yeah. So nothing, nothing wrong with that. I got the, um, this was from a Reddit thread okay. a month ago. It was Hoboken Food Finds. Yes. And I just, I just like always keep an air on and uh, this is their vanilla ice latte. It's not even on the menu. Okay. But uh, it's the thir probably the third time I had it, and it is it is delightful. I, if you want to have a sip, you're welcome to have a sip. No, you should try it first. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's nice. Feel free. Okay. Mmm. Delicious. Real vanilla fruit in there. Yeah. No, no it should probably just syrup, <laughs> but it's uh, it's it's delightful. Yeah. I was I was very happy with this. I previously we had their um, they had some drink with a cannoli and whipped cream on it. That was, it was too much. You got like a little shot of espresso. It really wasn't a drink. It was more like you just a bowl of cream and cannoli. Anyway, let's get down to breast tacks with the rest of okay. breakfast sandwiches here. Um, this is good. So we get I get Dolce and Salado. Uh, Cynthia comes here regularly. I'm frequently eating their leftover wraps and their french fries. Very good. Um, the first time I have in their breakfast sandwich. Uh, this is going to set you back six seventy five. I think it was about three seventy five. So a little pricier than what you're getting elsewhere in Hoboken. Right. I see. Mm. But that is definitely, that's a buzzer. Someone's order is ready. Um, this is, I really like the bun. The Kaiser roll here. Mm -hmm. Usually I got them with a little seeds on it, but. And the ham, I don't know if you could, the, it's really <coughs> a really good crispness to the to the Taylor ham. Yeah. yeah. I feel I feel like the, the the roll is pretty nice and soft and not really hard. Fluffy. Fluffy, yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. I feel like it, it doesn't seem like it's toasted. And the egg is fluffy too. The egg, the egg is nice. This is just an all around, they're very generous with the ketchup here. I appreciate that. Oh, oh that's funny because I'm a little messy, so I appreciate less ketchup. Oh, you're, you're definitely on the less, you okay. Would you, if, ideally, would you just dip your sandwich in ketchup? You had a little container and just dip? No. Individual bites? No, okay, no. Just you, you want it in the sandwich? In the sandwich, just, yeah. okay. And I'm going to pop in a little bit to the, feel free to keep eating your sandwich here. Pop in the chpoitel. Well, this is just exploding all over the place. So Dom's Bakery makes a lovely chpoitel, um, and, and probably half the price. Uh, but they'll, they'll randomly, if you can find them open, because their hours are a little erratic these days. Um, but this is what you're getting in here. Um, some baked ricotta. Um, I think most of the pastries here probably come from another bakery elsewhere in Jersey. Uh, they do have a full kitchen back there, but I don't think they're doing all the baked goods. And uh, really flaky. Um, typically, you'd want this a little warmed up. Uh, so you get them in, at, at Dom's. I recommend going in the morning uh, and get a Schweitzel from Dom's, and it'll, it'll still be warm. How much are these? I couldn't tell you. Okay. Um, in total, we spent about I mean, twenty bucks and some tip on top. Or say six, ten. Yeah. Like that. This is probably about four, four or five bucks. Okay. There are two sizes: the large and the small. Got it. And this is a. This is a large because we're, okay. we're gonna cut it up. All right. It's good. It's um. It's, it's definitely from another bakery. Got it. Okay. But what what are your what are your some of your favorite pastries and cakes that you've had here? I've had the eclairs. Okay. It's pretty good. Cannoli? Have you had a cannoli here? No, I have not. So, I'm a little thrown because their cannolis seem to be pre-filled. Ah, so. My understanding is a cannoli, you leave it empty until the person orders it, then you, you then you shoot the filling in there. That's right. Like, what, eclairs, 
had him here, or did you bring him off to, bring him off to someone? Uh, I had him here. Okay. I had him in the coffee. Yeah, it was real nice, and I, I'm a big fan oh, of... Oh, you have their espresso as well? I've had ice coffee. Oh, ice coffee. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was the cream is really quite delicious, okay. and soft, and nothing too sweet. That's right. What, what is your ideal? I have a nostalgic like for the uh, Bavarian cream donuts at Dunkin' Donuts because oh. I grew up with that Bavarian cream, and it was like I, I don't know if I was at school or like a function or something, but there would be like a cream donut. And when the Munchkins had the cream filling, that was those were rare. But uh, where does it stack up in like in your ideal? Or the Dunkin' Donuts. Like, yeah. like, do you have a good nostalgic feel for Dunkin' Donuts? Like, what is your what is your ideal eclair filling? Like, how does this stack up to your ideal eclair? Uh, I think just maybe just not so sweet, you know, just just, just that Bavarian. Yeah. So you don't want an over. This is this oh, was not an overpowering cream. No, it was, it was the cream was really shiny. Cream was, okay. Yeah. Any thoughts on the egg sandwich? Uh, it's pretty good. I was going to ask you like the eggs aren't runny. It's nice and like not too greasy. It's just you know. I think would have appreciated maybe a turkey bacon option or something, or yeah. Did you consider turkey the avocado bacon. toast? Or that was just a whole different thing. It's a whole different thing. Yeah, but you're right. Turkey bacon would be a good would be a good option. Okay. Maybe switch it up with pepper jack. I don't know different cheeses. Different. So I didn't ask, but maybe they do actually have different cheeses. Uh, okay. They definitely have mozzarella. Yeah, gotcha. And Lisa's Deli, excellent. We've talked about their egg sandwich before. Uh, you can get mutts on that with pepperoni. Uh, that's huge. Uh, we're gonna get about to breakfast here. Uh, so Dolce Insolato, corner of Eleventh and Grand. Um, come prepared. Bring your wallet. Um, but uh, if you like Taylor Hamburg and cheese, pretty good. Shout out to Chuck in, I guess it's upstate New York, uh, who was going to revoke my jersey card if I didn't order this. So Chuck, this one's for you. Bye-bye.